Hey, what's up guys? I want to do another video on Visa, Mastercard, and American Express. So I want to make a video on these guys today because I think the stock prices of these companies are actually forecasting something and it may or may not be right, but I'm going to give my thoughts on it either way. Okay. So American Express is up 22.96% year to date. Mastercard is up 4.57% year to date and Visa is up 1.39% year to date. So the reason I think investors are favoring American Express is because they are possibly forecasting a slowdown in consumer transactions here. So this is because uh, American Express typically has cardholders of higher average incomes around you know 90,000 range and obviously it's going to be more than that whereas Visa and Mastercard typically cater towards people of lesser you know lower incomes okay so when that happens um, people who use American Express are more likely to pay off their debt whereas uh, people who have lower incomes are going to be more affected by something like a slowdown in the economy okay it's just the fact that higher income individuals are just more resilient in term in times of financial stress so the other thing i want to look at is also consumer loans here you can see consumer loans are up to about one trillion so what we are probably going to start to see is that we're going to see people start to slow down their spending and maybe try to pay off the debt now that has not necessarily historically worked out um, americans typically have never you know paid off all their debts because it has been rising since 2002 and i think it's also possible that some investors might start to think that a crash in the credit card sector you know is starting to happen and if that happens i'm not saying it will then american express is probably going to be the one to come out on top because once again they have customers who have higher incomes right so they're going to be more resilient and people are not necessarily betting on the uh, credit card loaners with visa and mastercard then the next thing I want to go through is also valuation because I've noticed in this market right now, uh, investors are actually pivoting to value uh, lower value uh, stocks. Okay, so you can see here price to sales ratio AXP is only at two point four eight, whereas Visa and Mastercard are sitting at around you know the fifteen and sixteen level. Um, PE ratios AXP once again is coming out on top with the lowest PE ratios out of Visa and Mastercard. Um, but they are still slightly above, you know, Discover Financials and PayPal. The next thing is also, you know, AXP has a lower price to book ratio than Visa and Mastercard, which this typically doesn't really matter, but it just shows that, you know, Visa and Mastercard have a lot more leverage than AXP. Uh, Mastercard especially have a lot more leverage than uh, AXP. And the next thing I also want to look at is also the revenue sector for AXP. It looks like they are forecasting a lot more revenue in the next quarter. We are going to see how they are going to, you know, possibly hit that. It's going to be very interesting to see if they actually can hit that. So the next thing I also want to cover is, you know, something interesting. And I've been trying to employ AI into my investment strategy and i think it's definitely a place with uh for ai investment but it's not the, a, a way that a lot of people expect it's not asking the ai um what stock should you buy it's more of you know in that research category where ai is going to be very helpful in this case i asked gemini why are american express up this year yes i know there's an error there um pardon me um so first up we have strong financial performance okay you know american express have been doing fine throughout the year once again with their uh, higher income con uh, customer base they're going to be doing fine um, and then they have resilient credit quality um, once again higher um, income individuals so that contributes to the resilient credit quality so they are also focusing on premium co customers it's literally the same point and they also have a slightly higher dividend than Visa and MasterCard. You can see here Visa has 0.79 uh, dividend, 0.79%. Uh, uh, MasterCard has 0.6% dividend and AXP has 1.21% dividend. So they are also more attractive 
to the uh, investor community. Um, and then if you look at their shares outstanding, they are also buying back stock. Now, Visa is also buying back stock, um, but they are not growing as fast as American Express. You can see that the revenue growth for American Express is 25% year over year, whereas Visa is only 10%. And once again, you can also look at the valuation metrics here. Again, I'm going to be jumping around. Sorry about that. Um, P ratios of Visa, uh, price to sales ratio, price to book ratio are all going to be higher than uh, American Express. Then if you look at MasterCard, it's going to be the same thing. Uh, revenue at 10%, lower than American Express. And their valuations are all slightly higher than uh, American Express. So once again, market is pivoting into value um, in, in you know the, the most recent times, okay? So that's it for this video. It's going to be very interesting to see how consumers are going to um, react to with the latter part of the year with, you know, interest rates still staying very high. So it's going to be interesting to see how companies like Amazon are going to react to this because Amazon still has a large part of their incomes, you know, generated from their online stores. Um, last year, it was sitting around 231 billion. And, uh, you know, it's going to be very interesting to see if there is a slowdown in spending because I do think, you know, Amazon is going to be a part of how we know that the consumer is weakening. And if the consumer is weakening and the Fed does not cut rates, that could possibly drive the US into a recession. We do not want to see that happen. Um, and, you know, that's why a lot of people want the Fed to cut. But, you know, the Fed doesn't want to preemptively cut for whatever reason. Um, and, you know, we'll see how it actually affects uh, a lot of these companies. Once again, Visa, MasterCard, AXP, Amazon are going to be very important. In I think the latter half of the year, it's going to be very important to look at how they're doing and you know how consumers are spending. Okay, so thank you guys for watching. Like, subscribe, and see you in the next one.